In today's video, we're going to be talking about racing gloves and giving you everything you need to know to hopefully be able to allow you to choose the best racing gloves for you. We're going to be going over the different brands, the different types, how the gloves are made, and my recommendations so that you can get the best racing gloves for your situation. First of all, there are two main types of racing gloves. There are gloves designed for kart racing, which are designed to be a bit more durable so that if you have a crash, you don't hurt your hands. And then there are car racing gloves, and their primary focus is on feel and also being fire and heat resistant should you get in an incident where there's fire. Now, because of these different applications, the gloves come in slightly different prices. Carting gloves generally are a bit more cheap, starting from about 40 pounds, anywhere up to just over 100 pounds. Whereas car racing gloves start at about 60 pounds and go anywhere up to nearly 200 pounds. Now you can interchange these somewhat. Some people do use car racing gloves in karting. I wouldn't recommend swapping them too much though, because of course they are designed for different purposes. Car racing gloves are designed for heat resistance and aren't as abrasion resistant. And kart racing gloves are designed to be abrasion resistant and might not hold up so well in a fire. The main areas to look out for in terms of wear on racing gloves are especially in karting, on the palms where you push against the steering wheel and in karting and car racing, the thumbs where your thumbs rub against the steering wheel. And sometimes also they can break at the seams if they're not the highest quality gloves. And in some car racing instances, you may wear out the fingertips from using the dials or potentially paddle shifting or gear shifting. Another area where gloves can wear out, and this is generally on the more lower end gloves, is if they have stick on grips, then those grips can rub off the surface and peel away, leaving just the underlying material. There are different materials that gloves can be made from. In karting, the gloves are often made from either cotton or polyester or acrylic fibers, just like clothes are. And in car racing, they're generally made from Nomex or Aramid fibers woven in with other materials due to their fire resistant properties. And that generally is why they are slightly more expensive. Not only are there different materials for the gloves themselves, but there are also different ways of adding grip to the surface of the glove. Some gloves just have the normal material on the face, maybe cotton, for example. Other gloves like these have sort of stick on the pads that go onto the surface of the palm and the fingers to add grip. But sometimes these, as I mentioned, can rub off. But a lot of higher end gloves have rubber or silicon impregnated into the surface of the palms and the fingers. And generally these are a bit more grippy and hard wearing than the stick on alternatives. And there are also different variations in terms of the materials they use for that as well. But generally the higher end gloves will have more grip and the grips will last longer. When selecting a glove, the most important thing is that the size is correct for your hands. You want to make sure that the gloves have a nice snug fit, but they're not too tight so that it doesn't restrict movement. You want your fingers to be near the ends of the gloves, but you don't want them butting against the end without the glove meeting the gap between your fingers as well. Now, different gloves have different shapes and sizes, and some of them actually have different adjustments as well, like these that have a Velcro around the wrist, I would also make sure to do some research on the different sizes available for each of the brands. As some brands use st standard glove sizes like seven, eight, nine, 10. Others use small, medium, and large. And you'll need to probably try some on at a shop if you can to make sure you get the right size for yourself. Also, once you know what size hands you have, whether it's small, medium, or large, or eight, nine, or 10, I wouldn't just blindly trust an online store because different glove manufacturers like Puma, OMP, Sparco, they might say they have the same size, so a small might be slightly bigger in one brand than another, which is another reason to definitely try on the gloves that you want to get, especially if you want them to last and be as good for you as they can be. There are many, many brands that make racing gloves in both karting and car racing, and I don't think one brand is any better or worse than the others. As long as it's a reputable brand, it's likely to last if you buy a good quality pair. Now, there are all of the brands that you would expect, for example, Alpine Stars, Sparco, OMP, Puma, for example, but there are also some bespoke and niche manufacturers that just do gloves, for example, minus 273. And if you want a pair of gloves that match the rest of your outfit or your team or anything like that, you can get some custom made gloves from a few companies like Freem, Custom Racewear, and HRX. So that's everything you need to know about gloves, really. Hopefully that's enough information for you to be informed when you next buy your pair of gloves that will hopefully last you for a few years. But my main recommendations, and the first recommendation is definitely choose the right size, as I mentioned earlier on. Secondly, choose a reputable brand or at least a brand that you've heard of. These gloves from Puma, um, I've had for probably six or seven years and used them hundreds of times in many, many conditions and they still work absolutely fine and they haven't worn out. So again, 
buy cheap, buy twice. If you buy a good pair of gloves and look after them, they should last you. Some lower end pairs of gloves, especially the ones that have the stick on palm grips, they can wear out really quickly and end up being a false economy. I would recommend as soon as you are fully grown or pretty much fully grown, definitely invest and save up a bit more money to buy a good quality pair of gloves. Uh, and then they will hopefully last you for many, many years to come, just as mine have in front of me here. Finally, once you find a style or brand or certain set of gloves that you really like, then, then definitely stick with it. If it's gonna give you all the grip you need, it's not gonna give you blisters and allow you to grip the steering wheel effectively, then it's gonna allow you to perform at your best. And hopefully, if you look after them, they'll look after you too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and we've given you all the information you need about racing gloves and choosing your next pair. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you check out this video beside me now, which is about racing boots. And we've also got a video here that explains all you need to know about racing helmets too. Thanks very much for watching. And if you've liked this video, then make sure to subscribe for more content like this coming very soon.